The well-publicized and often criticized American automotive transition to electric vehicles is in flux. Many car companies, including Detroit's Big Three, have set goals to go all electric in the next 7 to 12 years. They are, in some cases, pumping the brakes on production based on consumer demand, which is slowing. As MidMichigan Now's Mike Wolfolk reports, it appears EV anxiety remains high for some people. Our infrastructure cannot handle the electric vehicles. Prices will have to come down on the cars. The mileage is somewhat limited. They aren't the only ones worried about things like that concerning electric vehicles or EVs. A recent Yahoo Finance Ipsos poll indicates over half of Americans responding, 57%, say they are unlikely to buy an EV. Their top three reasons, cost, driving range, and the current lack of public or home charging stations. Do you see those concerns as legitimate at this point, or are there things that the consumers aren't considering? Oh, absolutely. Driving range is by far the most improved aspect of EVs. While early models only achieved between 80 and 100 miles on a charge, many of today's EVs will go 250 to 300 miles. It sounds like the driving range has been pretty much improved. But University of Michigan Flint professor Chris Douglas says limited range can still be an issue for some. If you want to tow something, the mileage, the range just goes way down. Roy Birmingham's wife drives a Ford Mustang Mach-E with what he describes as limited range. About 220 or so. I got a place up north and it's about 210, so she hasn't ventured up north with it yet. Another thing to keep in mind about range, driving in cold winter conditions. It saps about 25% of the range when you're cruising at highway speeds compared to mild weather. Keith Berry is the senior autos reporter for Consumer Reports. On price anxiety, he says, think about what you paid for things like your first cell phone or flat screen TV. As the technology matures, as more people buy it, as more plants come online, uh, we really are expecting the pricing to come down. Barry tells me CR just bought a new Chevy Blazer EV for testing, and he concedes the price may be out of range for the average consumer. Checking the Chevy website, the Blazer EV starts at just over $56,700. The gas-powered Blazer? more than $21,000 less, starting at $35,400. Factor in the potential for higher insurance and or repair costs, and U of M Flint's Chris Douglas says, So it could be the case that over the lifetime of owning an EV, um, you never end up paying a lower cost than what you'd pay if you just went to a dealership and bought a gasoline-powered car. Caleb Garrison of Grand Blanc owns a Tesla, says he has 160,000 miles on it and has only replaced the tires. The biggest ups is um, not having to go to the gas station constantly, um, for the most part charging at home. He says this was a rare stop at a Tesla supercharger. The company has more than 50,000 globally, giving it claims to the largest fast charging network in the world. For others, that infrastructure is slowly growing. The, the spaces where these, these uh, chargers are need to be well lit, they need to be working. You need to know that there's that if this if this one is full, that there's gonna be another one in a few miles, not you know 50 miles away. Despite the anxiety over current limitations, there are good things to look forward to if you go electric. Most notably, Barry says they're a blast to drive. If you haven't driven an EV yet, highly recommend, you know, just Get behind the wheel of one and see what it's like. In Flint, this is Mike Wolfo reporting.